So hi everyone, it's been a while. So this is me, <laughs> Yana. So tagal tagal na rin ako hindi nakagawa ng video. So this video is to uh, share some awareness. So maybe you can guess from the title. I am gonna talk about uh, seasonal affective disorder or winter depression. Dito sa Sweden. So guys, I am suffering it. So if um, uh, you're watching this and click and maybe can relate. So I just want you to know you are not alone. <laughs> uh, I am uh, say feeling very down in the months of how I say October, November, December, uh, little. So uh so paano ko ba to explain so first uh, i been uh, ito na yung pangatlong uh, autumn ko dito sa Sweden so yung first year uh, i did not feel any sadness at all because everything was like new and maybe uh, i don't know i just did not feel sad at all during the first uh, during that first year that i na tumira ako dito. Pero yung pangalawang year, oh, last year, oh my god, I felt it. Like, I felt a little sad. But now, this year is very, very, like, uh, bad. Like, I felt like I was crying uh, much more often. I've been complaining a lot. Uh, feel so unsatisfied, dissatisfied with uh, everything and like nothing really keeps my uh, like I'm usually not usually I'm, I'm usually a happy person but oh, oh, but uh, the effects of the uh, darkness to me is really strong and aside from that maybe you don't know maybe you know I also have problem with uh, 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 with fertility so maybe it all adds up so yung emotion ko is napaka uh, sometimes uncontrollable so uh, I felt so unhappy s sad but today um, na if some, sometimes like pag pagod na pagod ako sa trabaho pag uwi ko Iyak lang talaga ako ng iyak kasi parang what am I doing here? Parang ang hirap ng buhay dito sa Sweden. Hindi ko maitindihan. Parang hindi naman sobrang hirap na hirap yung buhay ko dito. Pero it feels like that. Because uh, imagine um, in the Philippines I was working uh, as an ESL teacher in Cebu. At like up all like like I was a student. I was a student in university, and then I was working from six, uh, from six to uh, twelve uh, midnight, and then doon ako na doon kami na tulog sa office. Then gising na naman from four a.m. to uh, four a.m. to eight a.m. magtuturo na naman ng mga uh, say Japanese students. So actually, my my life before was even more like tiring, but now. I'm just working in a restaurant and then after work I just I I am health sleuth. I am I don't know how to say that anymore in Tagalog yung parang wala na talaga parang sad na sad na ako pagod na pagod yung feel ko ang buhay ko eh bakit parang hirap yung ang feel ko talaga ay parang ang hirap hirap ng buhay ko dito even though it's not like that uh, it's just more of uh, say my uh, hormones maybe my uh, I actually don't know uh, I have a theory that it's my uh, seasonal affective disorder or winter depression that making me feel like that even though everything is doing well like I am making money now like uh, like ito yung pinakamlaking sahod ko since since nagtrabaho ako uh, like uh, ESL teacher in the Philippines, teacher in Thailand, and then dito naman restaurant uh, worker, waitress, something. So it's actually not that bad, but yung yung para I was 
I'm, but I'm so unhappy. So uh, I think this is the effect, com the combination ng seasonal, de uh, seasonal depression, seasonal affective disorder, tapos yung problema ko sa hindi ako mabuntis-muntis. So, it all adds up. So, napaka, I don't know, it's actually, uh, if you come here in Sweden, just know that uh, the weather will really have big effect on your emotion, in your, uh, how to say, overall well-being, because I'm actually my husband and I are quite active because uh, they said like absorb as much light as possible so weekends or uh, like after work if I finish work early lumalabas talaga kami we go out and how to say like with the nature but there are days talaga na sobrang lungkot kahit kahit bag shopping ako <laughs> kahit mag magkain sa labas after ng kain sa labas uh, hindi pa rin ako masaya yung parang napaka-shallow ng ng feeling ko na hindi ko maintindihan so i do not know exactly how to explain what i am feeling but uh, to help my mental health i have stopped using social media Walang Facebook, walang Instagram. So, uh, this video, yung parang, kailangan ko lang talagang, I make this video kailang, uh, to share some baka, baka may makarelate na life is, <laughs> life is also hard in Sweden. Even though it's very convenient, like we can, like we have car, we can buy whatever we want. Masasad ka pa. <laughs> you will feel sad because um uh, humans <laughs> uh i am trying to uh thinking thinking uh sa future uh soon it will be snowing hopefully hopefully soon because when pag may snow na medyo nagbe bright na yung paligid eh kasi ang problema ko talaga hindi yung cold ang problema ko is yung darkness yung parang tingnan niyo guys alas 12 pa lang ha alas 12 na lang ha alas 12 pa lang ng uh, um, ha hapon 12 noon i don't know how they say that in tagalog so 12 noon pa lang pero ganyan na siya ka more yung parang dag dag um dag hindi siya dag um yung, yung ganito yung most days ng autumn yung parang wala talagang sunlight na parang cloudy na parang gloomy na gloomy yung panahon na parang pagtitingin ka sa labas hindi ka ma hindi ka makaka-get ng energy. Nag-change na nga namin yung lahat ng light dito sa bahay. Ginawa sabi ko kasi, yung yellow light, I feel so tired all day. I feel so tired. So, sinage na ng husband ko yung light into white lights kasi I'm, I feel more, like, active. So, hopefully, it will have effect on me. And I'm taking vitamin D, like, a lot of this because I am, I also have my blood checked, uh, vitamin D check. It's all good because maybe because I started taking this like for two months now. Because I know that I would, I might feel like this, but still, I'm feeling like it. <laughs> so I don't know. This is just me sharing my thoughts, opening myself up. I don't know. I'm making this one so maybe I need some validation that it's okay to feel like this I actually don't know I just feel like making this video so ano ang magagawa ang magagawa ko lang ngayon is wait till the autumn months past uh, kumain ng masustensyang pagkain baka kasi uh, baka I'm not eating enough <laughs> because um, uh, I will make more videos about my uh, how to say the the lifestyle changes I am making now. So can you share? Pwede kayo mag share. Do you also feel like this when you first come here in Sweden? 
because when I talk with my friends, they also felt like they went back to zero here in Sweden. Like we have to learn the language and stuff. We can't get a job that we want. Hi, <sighs> life is difficult, but I am working on getting uh, my dream career here so i am studying maybe that's part of the reason like i have too much things going on working i'm not have i don't like the work and i'm not really like yeah i'm not i don't love the work i'm doing i don't love being a waitress i am studying and i am having problem getting pregnant so it's all everything so maybe that's why i feel like this so well <laughs> oh so anyway have a nice day and keep yourself warm and get out. Have sunshine if you have sunshine because we don't have sunshine here in Sweden. Especially here in North Sweden. We don't have <laughs>